It's easy to become judgmental about people who are liars or who are dishonest in life. But if we look beyond the behavior, if we really look at what motivates or what values dishonesty brings to our lives, we actually can find that there are some. I know in my own experience in life, when I have been unauthentic, it's usually been because I've wanted to try to form a connection with the person that I'm lying to. I don't want to lose the relationship I have with them or the connection that I have with them. So my lying is a form of trying to protect that connection. If we focus on that value, the desire for connection, then we can begin to see beyond the behavior of lying or dishonesty and really look at the motivation of what the person is lying for or being dishonest about. And of course, the need for connection or the need for relationship is a value that's important to all of us. And as that per person then begins to take a look at their lives and evaluate where they are being connected to their work or to the people in their lives, they often find that there's a lot of connection missing, sometimes even being connected to their real purpose in life or who they really are as a person. But once people begin to develop a connection with the people in their lives, with their life's purpose, with their work, then they can begin to develop connection in many parts of their lives. And having this strong connection will actually then lead away the desire to lie or be dishonest because they have so much connection in their lives, they don't need to develop connection through lying. So for most of us, we have to learn not to judge the behavior of the liar or the person who is unauthentic. And instead, we need to look at the value of connection that they're trying to establish and then try to determine how we can help them become more connected and help them understand that having connection in their lives to their work, to their relationships, will be the mechanism by which they no longer need to lie or be dishonest in their lives.